Hello, welcome back. I have been in Mexico City now for two months, a little over two months, and your girl has been shopping it down. When I tell you the finds, like I just feel like my style has elevated here. And coming across designers, some cool vintage stuff, which you know always to me adds that little spice to your wardrobe. So we are gonna get into that and I think it's really exciting too being that I am half Mexican and just kind of showcasing some really dope designers because I feel like so very often Latino designers are overlooked. Everybody just kind of flocks to the European fashion houses. So just sit back, relax. This is gonna be really casual. Actually, let me go get my coffee. Let's just start with this. I've been shopping for a lot of slips. So this one was from the flea market, La La Lunia. I have like a TikTok on it if you guys want to see me shopping. But oh, I just thought it was really beautiful. And I really like these to like wear to dinner, even like during the day with maybe cowboy boots. I was really looking for a lot of them. And then this one was my first one. And then I found like two other ones. Okay, so this was the second little cutie slip. I'm obsessed. Like this one is truly my favorite. I'm just gonna get it lined because clearly it's see-through. I have a new friend, a seamstress friend, so I'm gonna ask her to line it for me. Also from the flea market, I got this jacket and I had been looking for a longer vintage black leather streamlined jacket kind of like this. I do wish the leather was a little bit softer and I believe I paid a thousand pesos for it. And so that was like one weekend that I went because it's every Sunday. So then I went back another Sunday. I got these cowboy boots. I had been looking for some black cowboy boots. I do wish that the stitching on these were like white just so that it can sobre salir, you know, like jump out at you. But I mean, I think they're really great, like classic. They fit perfectly and it was from the same shop as the jacket. So she was really sweet. She was like, oh, since you came back, I'll leave them for 500 pesos, which is like $25, guys. So amazing and it's like real good leather made in Mexico. <coughs> Some other cowboy boots. I had bought a lot from him, actually. I think I had bought three pairs from him, three or four pairs, and then I brought like some of my friends my boy, Francisco, I always talk about him. I'm like, no, you guys gotta go visit Francisco. He's just honestly so nice and you guys should definitely go get some boots from him. He prices them really well and he's always bringing in new merch. He goes out on like Sundays and Mondays. <laughs> I, I know his whole thing because I talk to him so much. But he goes and gets his, you know, mercancia and then brings that in. He posts up on the street. Go visit him and tell him I sent you. And so he gave me um, he's like, I don't know if you would like this or like if you have any use for it But I would love to give this to you as a little gift and I thought it was so sweet so We're on the subject of cowboy boots are these <gasps> ah, I fell in love with them. So these ones I did pay like a hundred and twenty US dollars. So I can't remember like I guess they were like two thousand something vessels obviously I've been finding them I've been finding cowboy boots for a lot cheaper, but I just felt like these were so special. Next up, I guess we can talk about Azar Vintage. So I love that store. It's fairly new. Elena is, her taste, immaculate. She actually is a stylist, or she did a lot of styling jobs, photographer. She does a lot of things. So she just has that eye, you know what I mean, when it comes to clothing and curating and vintage, and it's just like definitely, an, aligned with like what I love. She also always posts, if you follow them on Instagram, she'll always post the items that are, she's selling. And then you can like just DM her and you know, PayPal or Venmo or whatever. So yes, I love that store. These shoes, I just needed something feminine. I like barely brought heels and I was like, oh, these are just so perfect. I feel like if they were barely worn and such a good price, that's another thing. I feel like she just, prices everything very fairly. So also from Azar, which I need to steam this out now. I had it like just rumpled up in this mess since I was recording yesterday. But this little beauty, it's giving a share from Clueless at the party. A little bit, no? Um, but it's just so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. And it makes me so happy and I feel like that's what clothing should do, right? Another little slip dress. I know, like I said, I kind of went crazy 
this slip just needed to come home with me. I think it's Victoria's Secret, like vintage. It is a size medium, so it's, it's a little big on me, so I do need to get it altered, but that is such a quick fix. It's like zapping the sides, basically. And it has adjustable straps, which I really liked. But I just love this. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking pretty. Imagine with a night out with these and like a leather jacket, even the one that I bought, right? Or maybe something a little bit softer, more cropped moto, or even like a freaking cream blazer and boots. Let's continue on this vintage path. So from Roma Vintage, they have such good men's stuff. Like if you have, you have a guy in your life or you like to dress in menswear, go there. I feel like it is so good. And I feel like it's reasonably priced as well. And a lot of their tees are like the very soft cozies. So I love this one. They had so many, trust me, so, so many. Then as you make your way back, I was informed that that is like a separate store, but it's literally like, there's no other door. You just like go down a little path. Way. Like it's, I mean, it's very tiny in there. That's where I got this one. It says Grease Lightning and it's Rebel Rider. And I just thought it was so cute. A little Taz on a moto. If you're gonna get a vintage tee, it better be a freaking soft tee. So I got that there and then I also got this jacket there, which I love a fringe moment. I was getting a, I have like a black fringe jacket that I got from Wasteland actually. But this one I just thought, was so cute I'm like I don't have a cream one so we got this baby and it was only $40 yeah see like I feel like their stuff makes sense like their pricing makes sense I would have even paid like 70 for this you know so another vintage piece I have been finding things on the streets so as you're walking around you know there's like some vendors just set up kind of like Francisco sets up there's another place that this man sets up and he has a bunch of blazers and like a few other things but mainly he's known for his blazers and he's on Insurgentes and I'll leave the info for you but I found this baby I thought it was really cute I tried on a few different ones I really like the men's where he has both women's and men's this one is women's actually fit me really nicely especially from the arms and I like these little button details, right? Old money vibes, you know what I'm saying? I forgot how much I paid for it, honestly, but I don't think it was much, maybe like $10 or so. And then my other street find, which is probably the biggest star of the show, honestly. I already posted photos on my Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen it. I couldn't believe my damn eyes. Let me take it out of the bag. I got it dry cleaned recently. Oh, look at this. Look at this, you guys. So it is, this goes underneath this, so it's like the lining, you know? But I love that I can wear this alone as well. And then this also looks incredible alone because it gives more of like the silhouette of your body underneath. Like it's just sexy. The color is really unique. I'm like, what wedding am I wearing this to? Because I definitely would wear this to like a wedding or something. Um, and it's 100% silk, like it is well freaking made. I was walking towards like Parque Mexico and she's also, it was like this random little garage on Insurgentes as well, I believe. It was like my first day, like second day here or something. And she's like, oh, it's gonna be 60 pesos. And I was like, oh, 60. And I don't know why I even fucking hesitated. That's literally like, three dollars i would be absolutely insane if i didn't take it i think this is like the best find ever um let's go ahead and move on to some of the stores so this brand i'm obsessed with it's called 1999 and she's uh like an indie design like an emerging designer and i got this at the store called marseilla marseilla I fell in love with this whole line. There I had a few other pieces obviously at the store. The sizing was just a little off for me, so I need to go on her actual website. And then I also got a necklace, which, where is it at? Oh yeah. Here's the necklace. I can't remember the designer's name. I'll have to see. Um, but it's at, it's from Marseilla, so you'll see it at the counter if you go to check out, or I'm sure 
you can find it on their Instagram, like kind of figure out which one it is. I just thought it was really beautiful. I love the colorway. Oh, actually there's one more vintage moment. I forgot. So that was the two things that I got at Marseilla. Love, love, love. Vintage Ho is a store that I have visited before. I can't remember if it was in any of my other videos, but I remember filming there. Just don't know if I uploaded it. You know how I am. But I found this dress. Sometimes in there, it's like a smaller store, so sometimes you don't find anything and it's just like, eh, slim pickings. But other times you find gems. Like I, the times that I've gone, I've only found like one thing. But you know, like that's all you need. That's all you need to feel the thrill of a good find to feel satisfied. This one was definitely very satisfying. This is a blue marine. It said, the tag said from like their 1999 slash 2000 collection. It literally screamed and it was in my size. I tried it on. I love how flattering it is because it's all like scrunched. My one hesitation was like the fact that it was brown, but I'm like, you know what? It's fine. Brown is having a little moment. I'm starting to like the color on me a little bit more. I really love that. I thought that was a great find and that one was, 800 pesos, I remember because I was like, oh, I'd be dumb to pass it up. $40 or so, a little more than 40. So on the brown train, so I bought that one first and then I came across this one. I know it's a very similar vibe, but this one has more of an 80s twist to it. And this one I got from the store High Buy, which is really cool. They have a lot of emerging designers, slow fashion, unique, kind of like one-off items. Like they make that one and that's it. So this is the brand Worst. I'm pretty sure they're a Mexican designer as well as I believe High Buy houses mainly Mexican designers. And it's just so cute. I feel like this is the perfect dress to dress up or down. Um, yeah, it's like a cute little party dress. So also from High Buy, we have, I know, y'all, you thought this was gonna be a quick little haul. So from High Buy, I also fell in love with this brand. It's called Vanzo. And they have these like, again, one of a kind, like unique one-offs. What is it called? Like repurpose the blazers, thrift flip the blazers. And I feel like I throw it on over anything. Like even if I were to throw it on over this right now, just kind of works and it dresses it up a little bit, you know, makes it a little bit more funky. That's why I like to have things that are like plain and chill and then things that pop and that are unique and special. And that's really what I love to shop when I'm visiting other countries and I feel like my money is going towards something better than like a freaking Zara that everybody is gonna have, you know? Actually, the day that I went here, I had spent like $400 honestly at Zara and I'm like why am I spending so much on this that I know it's going to be a one and done situation. It has no special value to me or like sentiment at all. Like this really does pull at my heartstrings. Sometimes you got to be a little snobby when it comes to it to really fall in love with your closet. I'm, I ended up returning that and I like I would rather spend you know the hundred and whatever dollars on this. So I got this one first and then a few weeks later um, this place is called Cardone. This is like a cropped version. It's a lot smaller. It's so freaking cute. It's giving me like 90s, like that 90s model of duty, but with like some 2022 edge because this is like so special. And I really love the yellow with the navy. It was a set actually, so it came sold together. And so I'm like, oh, um, like I can't just buy the jacket. But I actually really, really love the skirt. So I just need to get it altered because it did fit me a little bit big. But tell me that isn't the cutest little set. So unique and I feel like it's very me. Like I, you know, I've made a few things like this before too. Yes, I do need to get a few things altered, but that's pretty much all of the clothing that I bought. Now I'm gonna share the bags. I bought three bags and then some jewelry online. So I'm actually wearing the necklace right now. This one is by this brand right here. I mean, you can customize your necklace. I got an A for Amy and then it has a little chili pepper and then this like kind of pearl shell kind of looking vibe. So then there's also the store here. It's called Audette. And I remember when I was in Guadalajara, a lot of you guys recommended that I shop because I was looking for like Mexican brands to shop. And so I was happy that I got to go in person. So 
I got this baby. And this is my other little cutie. I've been using this one so much. I kind of wish on this one that I got a colored one. I might do that. And then you have the option to customize it. This one I ordered online and it's the brand, um, oh, I can never say it. Anyways, I got an A and an S, obviously, called well, Amy Serrano. And it's just like great. And it fits actually so much stuff, like more than you would think that, you know, it's so tiny. And you can do it like a little crossbody like this. So my third bag, I just don't have it with me here. I ended up taking it to this apartment that I thought I was gonna be staying at, but anyways, it's there. And it's by Sarelli, Sarelli, which you guys may know, Ana Sarelli. I mean, she's like a really big YouTuber. I got it in the Taro color. That's another one that I'm like, I maybe I'll get another bag. Is that everything, y'all? Oh my God, I think it is. I'm like trying to think if I bought, oh, you know what, actually, oh, but I left. I bought some like sunglasses at the flea market as well that are kind of cool, very like 70s looking, um, but I transferred it over to my cousins already. I mean, I'm on like little crystals and things like that, but those are like the more fun pieces, the pieces that stand out, the pieces I can link you to. If you're ever in the city, definitely check out those stores. If you look on my Instagram or TikTok, you'll see other stores that I have visited that I didn't necessarily purchase from, but you know, they're like worth checking out. I mean, it's a, when it comes to like vintage and like those kind of one-off pieces, you just never know what you're gonna find. So worth checking out. Oh wait, you know what? There's one other piece. I went to Philly up and I bought this little baby. I just thought it was really cute. It is by Sabrina, and she's super sweet. I actually met her at the showroom, and she's just like, good vibes, you know what I mean? And it's kind of like a cross between like, to me, like street style, feminine, meets like kind of club kitty, some pieces, but like in some minimal colors. And Philia is another store that houses a lot of emerging designers as well it has like really cool stuff especially if you're into like showing up showing out almost like I don't want to say TikTok fashion because I feel like that has like a negative connotation but in my eyes to me it's like really creative and really like out there like things that I don't usually see normally but like I actually did see a lot of people wearing that when I went to the showroom for this like opening party and it's so inspiring I'm like yes I love seeing everybody like just embrace different things outside of what's trending at Zara. Anyways, that is everything. Let me know what your favorite piece was, if you have heard of any of these designers before, if you have visited, or if you have any other designers that I need to check out while I'm in Mexico City, let me know. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao. Again, sorry if I sound so crazy, I'm just recovering from a cold. Ciao.